In this video I'll be talking about the 1975, the band and their imagery which they use for their album artwork, their EPs and their singles and actual album. Um, the thing that I like most, I like all of their album artwork, I think it's really, really nice, I very much like it indeed. Uh, the thing I like the most is the synergy which they have on their album art, on their like the front design. Um, which is the, the the box, the square, the rectangle, the rectangle, which is on every single one of their um, album covers for like their singles and whatnot. Um, it's either edited on the front, over the t laid over the top of a picture, or like their actual album, um, their actual album. Um, it's actually a, a square box light. It's a light made in the shape of a square, and it creates the white box, which is very nice indeed. But mostly, it's just a white. A thin white box edged on top of an image with the 1975 um, written inside the box, which is very nice. It's easily recognisable as the 1975 product. Um, I think even without the the words the 1975, I think you'd be able to recognise if you're a fan of the band. Indeed, um, the images they use, like their actual artwork, is always in black and white, and it's usually photography as well. It's never kind of artwork that they've created themselves or had created for them. It's always photography. Um, and it's very simple images and they're quite obscure as well, they're not, they're not, there's no obvious meaning that can be kind of derived from them, they're very kind of, um, like for example one that's like an extreme close up of a, of a bed sheet, it doesn't like, it goes along with the song but it's not outright obvious what it's all about. Um, another one is like a shadowy figure um, with like kind of white lights around him and again it's not obvious at all what these mean, um, which kind of goes along with the convention of the alternative music genre style, which is something Izzy and I are very interested in exploring and using for our um, artwork. Like I said, we want to do the same um, with our kind of triangle for Alt-J and Sims silhouette to the side of his head, which we have on our designs we've already created. Um, so it's kind of recognisable as our Alt-J product, as opposed to not having any connection at all, especially between the digipack and the poster, or the um, advert. We definitely want a, a synergy between those two to make it obvious that they're both made by us for Alt-J. Um, again, simple designs which are easily recognisable and similar to each other will be good. So the ones we've already created are quite nice already. Um, but yeah, definitely Sims Silhouette and the Triangle we're definitely going to incorporate into both of our ancillary products because of what the 1975 have done with their light box and how effective that is.